Welcome back heroes to some more Pokemon Soulstones and we're going straight into it. Oh wow, I'm going to enjoy this. <laughs> it's going to do the recap, but okay. What the hell? Free mythical and legendary Pokemon? Did they just murder him? I think they did. Violence. The only acceptable solution. Okay. Alright, now that the deed is done, everyone on board the ship. Victor, take us to Ashfo Marsh. Aye aye, Captain. All aboard. Okay, so, um, before that all happened, I was going to say, last episode we managed to meet up with another group. And we discovered that the General De Russo guy, I forget his last name, but um, he's actually the brother of Victor. Well, kind of like, uh, they share the last name, not really um, true brothers it seems like. But we kind of were like, can we trust Victor? I don't know. And we kind of locked him up for a little bit, but he said, you know, you can trust me. I'm going to, you know, sail the ship for you to get to uh, the facility for the uh, terraforming facility. And um, yeah, we're going to see if we can trust him. Volti, are you ready to board the ship to go to Ashfo Marsh? Yes, I am. Okay, buckle in. I'm gonna be. A, it's gonna be a bumpy ride. Ooh, it looks so cool. The uh, the legendary Pokemon around. This place looks completely broken. There used to be a beach, but now the waters are too toxic to even surf on. Now you see at first hand the treachery of the Republic. Places that you knew and loved from the 21st century have been completely torn apart and destroyed. So no, now that we're here, what do we do? We advance on to the Republican base. I can see a facility from here. That must be where their terraforming technology is based. Oh. Damn, there's no getting used to that. Unsurprisingly, the quakes are more frequent and more intense over here. We need to make haste. Be on your guard, everyone. We have no idea if Dr. Leduc, Leduc or Angelo are here or worse yet, someone else altogether. Hold on, who's gonna stay here and monitor the terrorist? No, no way. I'm not doing it. Sienna, you must. You and Marshadow are the only ones able to make sure Victor remains on his best behavior. He's our fairy out of this place. You need to make sure he doesn't escape us, and uh, you have the ability to bring him in line in case he tries to break free from his leash. To hell with all of you. I am not staying behind and miss missing all the action just to babysit this psychopath. Sienna, this isn't a request. Everyone needs to make some sacrifice, and you're the strongest and most experienced soul keeper here. If the rest of us are traveling in there with Volti, we need someone that is second best to stay behind to keep Victor in line. I can't believe I'm right at the draw of hell. And you're telling me to stay behind and watch over Cerberus? Ah, oh, fine, I'll do it. Very well then. The rest of us should travel in small groups for protection. Faulty as you- No! No! Roberts! Come on, dude! Why? Let me, please, team up with someone every single time! It's always Volti can go by himself, he's so strong. Let me team up with someone. I would love, I'd go with the weakest person here just to be teamed up with someone. It's nice to have the company, but whatever. We all know uh, he is the only one here that is more capable than of doing so. Yeah, 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 whatever. All right. <laughs> God, so annoying. There's uh, an item TM there. All right. I wish Emil was here. I don't know where he is. Hopefully we'll find him soon, but I want him back, man. Avoid the sleeper. I don't want to grab that TM. Hey, how, how come this guy's not a sleeper? Got X scissor. Nice. Uh, yo, what up? Oh god, the Republic is out of their mind. They've been up to no good. The terraforming has not only been affecting the environment and surrounding ecosystems, their experiments have started to change some of the local Pokemon. They've empowered them and made them bigger, scarier, and incredibly hostile. Oh, alpha Pokemon, maybe? <laughs> I'm trying to recover and evacuate as many of the affected species as I can but they've overpowered me and I've had to flee. In particular, there are some corrupted Politoes that are naturally stronger, almost as much as an ordinary Mega Pokemon. They're also ground poison type. Okay, and don't even think about trying to catch them. They're able to resist conventional Pokeballs. Oh, okay, um, so we can't capture these corrupted Pokemon. What if we try using the Revolution Ball? The encounters haven't changed. I'm excited to see um, the Politoed. Oh, there it is. What type did he say it was again? Poison ground? Maybe we can get. I probably should go to Starmie so I can go for a um, Psychic. Unless this Cascade can do some. No, it's got Water Absorb. Great. Let's go Wood Hammer then. And Perish Song. That's absolutely fine. Oh, wow. Okay. That will do. But I still think we should probably. Also, we got Pokerus last episode, which is real nice. And we've got an item here, got a nugget. 
And I can't surf here because obviously the, the water's too toxic. Should I fight this dude? We're hunting for more servants to bring into the fold. Ooh. You ain't gonna find any here, I'm afraid. Right, I probably should... I think you could be dog type? Oh, it does a bit of damage. It's got dark pulse. I think it's maybe dark fairy. Let's go power gen. Bit of better damage. Ouch. Luckily we just about win. Uh, leafy on, leafy on, leafy on. Let's go into Sawana. And two more levels for Infernape and Starmie, then our whole team is max level 150. And we still have like, what, two more level caps to increase, I think? I can't remember if I saw the level cap be 175 or 200. I feel like 200 would make a good even number. My next level cap, I mean 25 levels is probably too much. I think it was 175. To wait and see, and can I get the flinch? No, I cannot, because Thunderbolt's gonna kill me. Alright, let's go Starmie, because a nice power gem will easily wreck you. Nice. These sleepers, though, are actually pretty tough. Yeah, Mega, if we outspeed you. Oh, it's a Mega, yeah, Mega. Mega, yeah, Mega. I can't believe that Game Freak never made that like a real thing. Mega, yeah, Mega just sounds so cool. Uh, let's see, so how do we get down here? Uh, so I definitely can't surf across. We need to find like the the path. That's definitely not the right way. So which way do we want to go? Is it me or is there no way to go? What? <laughs> um, if I can get over there, I, I can vaguely see the way, but... Surely the way to go would be down this way and around. Is that like a hidden thing? Oh, it's not a mushroom, it's a Pokemon. Among Us, woo! There's got to be something we can do. Maybe talk to the Ludicolo? Because why is there Ludicolo there? That's too suspicious. Right, because there's definitely nowhere to go. Human, you must help me with something. You can talk? Why can you talk? You're not a psychic type. A side effect of the Republic's experiments. It's equip me with the ability to communicate with humans in their native tongue and be understood. Now, enough of that. I need your help. I'm just thinking of the uh, the Ludicolo from um, Detective Pikachu. He's just like, ah! <laughs> the Republic's experiments have caused some of the uh, carnivine in the jungle to turn into feral creatures. They become bug and grass type Pokemon and fire types moves don't nearly do as much damage to them. Please, uh, okay, I can take out the carnivines. There's seven corrupted carnivines. That's not exactly what I was, oh, this way. There you go. That's why. Now we can get around. There's a carnivine. Yo, you actually look really cool. Probably should heal it up actually. Cause it looks like um, the piranhas from Mario. <laughs> Uh, I guess power gem? Maybe do some damage? Wait, okay. We good, we good. Let me heal up before I forget. So it's, it was it seven polytoads as well? I think we still have a lot to do. And I probably should just revive. Swan, I got plenty. I'm not gonna use my max revive, so I'm gonna save that for like, if the final boss battle in this game is like, you know, super difficult, I need to cheese it. I need as many max revives as I can get. I feel like I'm going to sneeze in a second, so I'm sorry. It's coming. Uh, let's go and try and get the item. Insect plate, nice. We're getting a lot of plates in the future. Maybe Arceus will show up or something. Nope, I'm not going to sneeze. I take it back. I felt like I needed to, but... Apparently my face changed its mind. <laughs> Alright, let's go Psychic. I think we should do some damage, right? Yeah, I think, I'm pretty sure he said Poison Ground, I honestly cannot remember. Hyper Voice, yeah, does like no damage. Awesome. And I think we want to keep following this path down. Another Carnivine. Like I said, Mega Starmie is so good, it just, it just deals with so much in this game. 
I feel like I got really lucky with my, um, the Pokemon I wanted. Like, as soon as I saw the star, you I was like, I need to have that on the team, it looks so good. And it's become amazing. Saw the Chimchar, I was like, I gotta have an Infernape, that Pokemon is so good. Like, it looks, oh, there's a Braylon there. Looks so cool. The Swanna we got has been incredible with the ability and the, um, the perfect IVs. Oh, it's a shiny one. Not that you can tell, I can't cap- I'm gonna double check, I can't capture it, can I? I shouldn't even bother. I'm not gonna use it. Don't wanna waste any revolution balls in case I wanna get something in the future. But yeah, her power one's just been super clutch. It's been um it's been good. It's been good. It's, to be fair, Sylveon as well has just been an absolute tank. Oh, of course you need nothing bounce. No, don't hurt yourself. I mean it doesn't really matter, but you missed. Good. Please don't hurt yourself this time. Dude, come on! Right, now we heal up because there's no point. Oh, this is so annoying. Right, Alpha Potion up. Just don't paralyze me. Okay, good. B bro, come on, that's four times in a row you hurt yourself. And then, great. Come on, attack up when it doesn't even matter. Now we're snapped out, good. Oh, I hope like, we can just like one shot the rest of them. <laughs> so annoying. Uh, it's just, yeah, gotta keep following this down. Politoed over there, and I think I saw a Carnivine as well. Up here. Maybe it was a Mushroom. Can't tell. Please don't kill me. When I say kill me, please don't confuse me. I'd rather you kill me, and I can switch out faster than you confuse me, and I just slowly die. Oh, I can't believe you live for like 1 HP. Just got a Moonblast. Save that psychic PP for whatever's gonna come next. So there's the Breloom. Whee! That was a fun ride. What was a fun ride, Breloom? The Whirlpool. You went for a ride in the Whirlpool, Breloom? Are you crazy? Oh, stop getting so worked up, Voltsy. I'm an invincible AI terminal. The world might be falling apart beneath my feet, but doesn't matter to me. I'm an omniscient AI overlord. These terminals are just vessels to communicate, observe, and document my findings. Don't your terminals have like, I don't know, pain receptors or something? No, you silly goose, I'm a robot. <laughs> oh, we should get healed up. All right. Uh, let's then head down, because there was a Carnivine right here. <laughs> oh, I, the only thing is, I wish this Breloom told me how many Breloom's we've found and how many there are. Maybe like one of the Breloom's, like the first one we found in the um, the underground base at the, I forget what it's called, like the museum. Oh, that was like so long ago, man. So much has happened. But uh, yeah, maybe that one will tell us. But man, it's been, it's been so long. Like I start thinking about like the beginning of this game, it just, it doesn't feel like we're playing the same game. Like it's changed so much. It's, it's just, it's, it's, it's kind of awesome when you think about it. it. Starts off as like a little, little adventure, you think not much and then BAM. More and more just keeps happening, you're like, oh wow, I've really come, really come a far way. Just think, we started the adventure off just getting into a guy's body and, you know, just uh, doing some recon to just come to the future and there's zombies and <laughs> there's, the world's getting changed, it's just, just crazy. It's awesome though. Alright, I need to get rid of that paralysis because that will be super annoying. Right, uh, how do I get down there? I feel like I have to go... No, I go this way? I don't know which way I'm going. There's so many different ways to go. So I've been here, haven't I? I think I need to go this way and down? I haven't battled you, so... There's a Zygarde cell there. Turn around, dude. Turn around. Turn around. Okay, I'll just go around you. <laughs> Now we're at what, 38% I think? Uh, sorry, 36%. There's a mega stone there, uh, yo. Greetings, my name is Toph. I'm an earthbender. I have come to the heart of where the Republic has been committing its atrocities to attempt to heal the land. The master of ground type moves, including the one move drill run. Um, would be nice, but I don't think I have the Pokemon that can learn it or anything. Oh. There's everyone. 
I'll go talk to you in a little bit. I just want to try and get this mega stone. There's definitely a kind of a polytoll we can take out, which is good. Lots to do. Like I said, like with every game I play, it gets to a point where I just get I get sick and tired of side quests because the, the main story just gets too interesting. It's like when the story's just like building up, it's just like, okay, you're kind of pulling me in a little bit. I can just go off and do other things. But when it gets to like this point, like late in the game, and the story's just like, you know, every every little bit you do just is so, so interesting, lots of stuff happens. It's just like, I don't want to do side quests, man. I just want to, I want to get into it. It's the problem I have with games. Don't know if I'm the only one that does that, but yeah. <laughs> Sometimes like, if it was me playing this game, or like any game, I'd say like 15 years ago, oh yeah, I'd be doing everything. I was all about 100% of games, getting all the achievements, trophies. Nowadays, they're just, it's like playing the game, like the story, gameplay, whatever it is, just having chill time. And that's dead end. We don't want to go this way. Ah, oh, dude, I was hoping you wouldn't come on towards the lily pad bits, but it's fine. Decidueye, uh, let's Moonblast, I guess. Damage. I got a switch. Never mind, you got a crit. <laughs> oh, big sad, big sad. Um, let's go Swanner. Air Slash. Wee. Oh, what next? What next? Braquinid. Air Slash. Flinch it. Hey! Yeah, don't flinch. Oh, no, never mind. I'm not gonna flinch. I'm gonna take you out. If I can, like, fight the final boss in this game, it's like, flinch me every single time. Oh, I'm gonna just be so happy. Oh, one more air slash. Goodbye. And Levani- Oh, Levani's definitely gonna die by an air slash. Alright. So far, so good. Uh, if we go around- We've been this way, so we want to go back this way. No! Ah! Oh. <laughs> oh, I forgot you were there. It's fine. Oh, this sucks. I need to switch. Let's go. Yeah, this one will be fine. Of course, I do love the battle music as well. He's got a banging soundtrack. Let's, let's like the music used for certain places. Good choices. Good choices. Oh, Mega Garbador. I've seen it before. It was like a monstrosity, but got the flinch. Come on, flinch again. Nice. This is what I want to do to like the final boss. And again. No, that's not what I want to do. It started off well. I, I wanted to flinch it all the time. Uh, let's go with Fernade because we can try and get one fitty. Although I actually got a bit of a ways to go. That last level. Aria Dos, that's fine. Nice critical hit. And Maractus, oi, another superpower. Easy peasy. Okie dokie, yep. And let's pop another repel. And let's just. Oh, I was going to have a little look first, but Sol Solgaleo, break down the door. Alright everyone, the door has been broken down thanks to Solgaleo. Let's go. Nice work, Leo. Let's go, everyone. Uh oh. We better hurry. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll be with you guys in a sec. I want to just uh, take out these two real quick. Um... Yeah, that'll be fine. I feel like I'll get healed up inside, so I'm not too worried. Although I thought I would do a little bit more damage than that, if I'm being completely honest. But it's fine, two, two more superpowers should do the- Oh, okay, critical hit. That, that's actually really good. See, so I was thinking two superpowers would be enough, but without the crit it would have been three. So I feel like I saw one carnivore on the way. I don't know, I feel like I missed it. Obviously I missed some because it would come up saying I can hand the quest in, but... 
I don't know where I missed it. Uh oh. Get for the confusion, get for the confusion. Dude, what? What does it want me to say when not landing the confusion? Dude, seriously. In total, that's like six confusions in a row I've hurt myself with. Like seven. Can we make it eight? There we go. Oh, wow. That didn't even do that much damage, seriously? Parasong, yeah, take me out, please. I had enough of this fight. <laughs> oh my goodness, how are you still alive, Politoed? It's fine. The Parasong is going to take us out any second. I welcome it. I welcome it with open arms. There we go. Oh, wow. I <laughs> did not enjoy that. <laughs> Alright. So we've done the Polito one at least. That was the last one. We saw it pretty missed like one or two carnivores. I said carnivores, didn't I? I meant carnivines. Uh, yo. Public and scientist is shaking in the corner. Oh, he seems paralyzed with fear. He won't even look at you. We were so busy wondering if we could, we didn't stop to think if we should. Hey man, are you alright? The Radicates, they're everywhere. When I close my eyes, I see them in my dreams. There's no hiding from them. They want vengeance. They didn't like the experiments we did on them? No, they didn't like that at all. We infused them with a level of intelligence that they became psychic. We couldn't control them anymore. The terraforming caused them to break free of their enclosures and now they hurt us. So hunt us. Oh, how the tables have turned. The predator has become the prey, it would seem. I feel this is a reference to something like um, the first bit of dialogue, but I don't know. But yeah, I'll take out some radicates. There are nine of the vile creatures on the loose. Right. So I can't get across there. Hi. Hi, our experiments have broken free and run amok throughout the lab. Meowstic lab cats that belong to the facility are in danger. They always taunted the radicates when they were in the enclosures, but now the radicates are loose, the poor sweet things are in danger. Uh, sure, I'll find the meowsticks. So find five meowsticks, take out nine radicates. Got it. Right. Uh, if they're psychic type. It's a good Dos Noir, I guess. Not sure what that does, but... Hey, yo, ooh, you're looking kind of cool. Uh, let's go Phantom Force. Oh, could you be, like, maybe normal psychic? You are. Oh, that's not good. We're just going to not affect each other. <laughs> oh, the Sucker Punch, though. Nice. Oh, that's funny. So in that case, I could probably get away with a... Superpower? Uh, yo. Yes, they deserve to die and I hope they burn in hell. Oof. I mean, I, I get it. I do. Totally get it. But at the same time. Yeah, I've got a side quest to do. <laughs> Ooh. I was to say, like, get a bit of HP back, but it's not going to be much, is it? So what does this one do? Oh, hi. I'm hunting some of the escape, escape experiments. Well, good for you. I hope you catch them all. Tajimara and Ariados, this is absolutely fine. I'm going to Drain Punch you, and I'm going to Cascade you. Level 145, ooh. Like, surely very soon, probably after the events of this bit, the level cap increases, because if these guys are level 145, Level caps 150. I feel like very soon will increase. Then we can be even stronger. Haha. <laughs> I wonder if you get like a like a Blissey or something like it. Could um wait like, yeah I'm gonna play rough this and then cascade. Yeah I wonder if you can get like a Blissey and get like over a thousand HP. Ooh it's a Mega Tyranitar. Okay. And of course we miss. Are you kidding me? Oh if I die. That's so annoying. Dude, that play rough would easily delete you. It's okay, it's okay. Swanner comes in, goes for a nice uh, dazzling gleam, should take them both out. I hope. I really hope. There's one. And there's two. Good. Alright. Uh, there's a meow stick. That's, well, we're taking out two Radicates, and we've got one Meow Stick, so we need a lot more. 
These radicates are actually pretty strong to be fair. But the good news is once I clear all the stuff and I go back, it's like a healing station, so I'm not ah, oh, do not want to fight you. Yeah, it's not too bad. Hmm. Okay, so we definitely go wood hammer. And I guess power gem still might do some damage to you. Yeah, nice. We. I'm like weak and I'm still destroying. Uh, let's cascade and let's psychic you. Oh, it's a mega breloom. Oh, that looks kind of cool. Oh, that's actually kind of cool, man. I like that. Nice. And we have a teleporter, maybe? Yes, teleporter. Uh, so I go like this, that puts me here. There's a meow stick. And what does this take us to another eradicate? Oh, got to hurry. These are getting more frequent. Yes, we do. Really, look, what I want to be like is, yo, eradicates. I know these guys did awful things to you. Maybe you want to team up? We can go kill them all together, maybe? That'd be a good idea. Oh, that's where we want to get back over there so I can heal up. Let's find another eradicate. Oh, we're gonna die if we go for Sucker Punch. Or oh, just double edge and just outspeed. That sucks. Uh, let's go Sylveon. Dragon Claw. Nice. I don't. I feel like I don't use Sylveon enough, but like Sylveon's actually really good. It's mainly because it's only got like one, basically one strategy or two strategies. You got Parasol or Destiny Bond. And if I want to fight someone really tough, I just go Dragon Dance a couple of times and Dragon Claw. <laughs> That's all I do with Sylveon. Turn around. Thank you. Uh, so what does this take us? Didn't realize that was a exit, so I've got to fight the Raticate. You're king of the world? Oh, okay. Uh, we best go for a nice power gem. Sucker punches doing too much damage. Luckily, they don't just keep going for it, otherwise, we would definitely die. So I want to save the games. I feel like I haven't saved it in a very long time. Dust stone. I've got so many dust stones. Uh, okay, so now we go this side. Ayo! I thought this could be the last one. I feel like we've taken out like 9 now. Or at least this is getting close. Don't suck a punch. Nice. Thank you for going for Super Fang. Appreciate that. Good, good, good. Oh, okay. Maybe this is the last one. <laughs> I feel like we're definitely going to be getting near the end. Oh, it's a shiny one. Can I capture these, I wonder? No, I can't. Yes, I'm guessing I probably couldn't capture the, the Politoed or the, uh, the Carnivines either. Oh, the people the carnivines actually look kind of nice. What might that? <laughs> That's still not it. Don't know if like this encounters in here. I, I assume they probably would be. Oh, we're here already. But insolent whelps, how'd you make it this far? You're interrupting my research into the soul stones. Drop your weapon. It's over. You're surrounded. Surrounded? The hell I am. The reckoning has only begun. Look beyond temporal interlopers. Oh, Terrakion! Do you recognize him? The terraforming is due to the might of our pet Terrakion. He's been pacified like the good dog he was, thanks to you helping, helping me gather some of the uh, mana shrooms. Behold the power of a soulbound Pokemon. Oh, snap! Leo doesn't look too good there, but thought he were trapped behind the broken platform. The earth shattering knocked Leo out. Lunala, Solgaleo, are the both of you alright? Impaled by the earth. Oh, snap. Solgaleo, can you break through the earthen barriers? Bolty needs help. I'm working on it. Hold well on, my pet. Now finish the job. Bolty, help. Now that those worms are otherwise uh, preoccupied, it's time I dispose of you once and for all myself, rather than leaving one of those shadow clones to do the job for me. 
I wish I was fully healed. I didn't know this was going to be the, um, you know, the right way to go. So I'm a little under leveled, which is not great. Uh, I'm going to go for a heat wave. Oh, nice. Very nice. <laughs> Let's go, Dust Noir. Let's go. That was really good. Uh, I guess now I go. I don't know what type you. I forget what type these Ultra Beasts are. But another Heat Wave, I feel like, would do the trick to at least Breloom. It's like no damage, not very effective. I feel like you might be Steel Psychic. Well, the name's Steel. But Steel is Steel. I feel like you're definitely, definitely part of Steel. <laughs> Alright, uh, having Infernape here would be real nice, and that's not good. And the Beast Boost is actually kind of scary, so what I'll do is I will go for a max... wait, whose turn is this? No, we'll go for Perish Song, and then a the max... Revive. If I was fully healed, you'd get absolutely destroyed. You know that, Professor, right? I didn't know that was the end. A lot more to uh, go through, and this is fine. Alright, and then next I'm gonna go... It doesn't really matter, does it? Destiny Bond, just in case you actually do some damage. I'm gonna go Dust Noir for them heat waves again. If only you could have attacked uh, Sylveon. Nice! <laughs> Destiny Bond too good! Alright, now we bring in the Ace. And the one that's going to be good for the battle. Right, so now I'm going to go a nice superpower on you, and I'm going to go for a nice Phantom Force on you. Goodbye, Breloom. And hopefully the Chinchino doesn't attack Infernape, and we are all good. Oh, that sucks. Oh, we lived, though. We lived. Um, going to... Drain Punch, Porygon Zero, and we can probably one shot you get all the HP back. Nice HP. Not as much as I was hoping for, but maybe we take you out now with the Phantom Force. I really hope so. Oh, not enough. I do not outspeed you, so I am not going to risk this. No way. I am just going to go for a nice. Uh... Okay, power on? Are you going for Psychic? Are you locked into Psychic then, maybe? You might be. Either way. I don't care. You're getting taken out this turn. And then we win. Had to waste a few Max Revives, but it was it was worth it. Nice and Cascade. Finish it off. Yeah, if I was fully healed, that would have been so much quicker and easier. So you got to my team, did you? No matter, I have one more ace up my sleeve. Drachion, your master commands you. Uh oh. Die, meat sack. Terrakion, come on, man. You must remember me. Oh, wow. That's looking really cool. I don't get to get healed up, which is not good. So I'm going to go Leak Seed first, just in case you do a lot of damage. But I don't think you do, so I might be all right. You're fighting rock, right? Or fighting ground. So surely this should just... Well, this is easy. <laughs> I got nothing to worry about. Oh, full restore. That's fine. As long as the rain doesn't end anytime soon, we should be absolutely good. Yep, I win. Well, that was, uh, that was easy. <laughs> Impossible. You beat the Shadow Terrakion. Um, how? It was infused, inf it was infused such power. I'm free of your corruption, Republican. I've been waiting for this. I, uh, nice dog. Master Terrakion, control yourself. This is not what Pierre would have wanted. No, I think Pierre would have wanted it, but my Soul Keeper... We've won, Master Terrakion. Hey, why are you not at the boat? We have the Doctor, but you need to restrain yourself. Rescind the earthen spikes that you have called upon and release our friends. We can interrogate him back in Akali Village. Sienna, what are you doing here? Where's Victor? You really gonna chastise me right now? Just saved you from Terrakion going on a wild rampage and slaughtering a lot of you. Victor is handcuffed back on the boat. Now let's go back to Akali Village, everyone. And well done, he's gone. But where did the boat go? 
He was handcuffed to the downstairs cabin. How did he escape? <sighs> because no one saw this coming. Cena is supposed to be the smart one here. He's been the victim of countless Republican atrocities. He faked his death to join the Argent Revolution. Did you honestly think he wouldn't have been able to escape something as simple as handcuffs? Ah, oh, god damn it. Now we uh, have not only Angelo and the rest of the public to contend with, we also have Victor, the loose cannon at large. Victor was onto something with you soul keepers when he said that you people wouldn't bloody stay put. You had one job, monitor Victor and make sure he doesn't escape. You couldn't even do that. I made a decision and I maintain it was the right one, Agent Kara. If it wasn't for me to, uh, to your rescue, Terrakion would have impaled you with an earthen spike in his uncontrolled rage. Ladies, settle down now. Find amongst ourselves gets us nowhere. The most important thing is that we have captured the Doctor, who is a high value target for the Republic and safely recover Natalia and Alexis. While we may have lost Victor in the bargain, he was a liability given his checkered past. We didn't know what he was plotting or what he was capable of. Uh, what we do know is that if he was telling the truth, he won't be working against us. You're assuming he was telling the truth and not a Republican mole all along? But the other problem that we have now is that how the hell do we get back to the mainland? Victor took the boat and those waters are too toxic for us to even touch. This is a bl this is bloody priceless. The band of bumbling heroes are stranded on this island with nowhere to get off it. The irony is palpable. Quiet asshole, Marshadow, teach him a lesson. Hey, release me, wench, or you will never see your friend Caitlin wake up again. Release him at once, Sienna. He has leverage for us, restrain yourself. I have no reason to restrain myself anymore. I can get as angry as I want. There's no more watcher locked away in my soul stone than I, that I empower when I get angry. This is therapeutic. Marshadow released the cursed human this instant. I restrained myself and I had the most reason to execute the, the, the uh, cretin after the torture he subjected me to in that terraforming device. Then you must do the same. Fine. Marshadow, release him from your grip. Do you like to be asphyxiated? Talk, talk more because that can be arranged if I get any more sass from you. We can throw our weight around with uh, Dr. Leduc all we want, but he's right. Uh, he knows how to revive Caitlin from her temporal illness. I said earlier that would matter if we had a way to get out of this damn marsh. While Terrakion was dominated by the terraforming machine, his powers were amplified and tore the bloody landscape apart and the sea has become toxic. Oh, I don't want to go through the pool, Agnes, it's scary. Damn it, Jason, you're wuss. Why does nobody have any confidence in my ability as a scientist? Uh, did I just hear... Look, everyone, a portal. Hey. Yoo-hoo, over here, everyone. Am I alive? Oh, I'm alive, thank God. Oh, I just stepped into a pile of mud. Oh, my shoes. Agnes Campbell, you're a sight for sore eyes. How'd you find us? <laughs> what sorcery is this? Oh, Claude, always amazed by the most basic of science. Are you still stealing other people's science and passing it off as your own? Oh! I'll explain everything once we get back to safety and out of this marsh. That's about to be consumed by the sea. Come along, everyone. Into the portal. You heard the lady, everyone? What are we waiting for? Get into the portal. Oi. Oh, it's looking nice now. Wow, Agnes. We're so lucky you found us when you did. Being strutted on a marsh sinking to the ground was not how I wanted to go down. I told you I, I would find them, Jason. <laughs> what my apology. I just don't like the idea of these portals, okay? Worry not, Kara. You were able to rescue Terrakion right in time from the terraforming device. Ashfone Marsh has uh, been set on an irreversible path to eventually be consumed by the sea following the actions of the Republic. But with you could rescue Terrakion from the device, it will not only be consumed gradually rather than all at once. Where in the hell are we? What is this place, Agnes? Where have you people taken me? Ah, and you brought the psychophant along with you. Don't you worry your little head about it, Claude. It's far too sophisticated for a tiny little brain such as yours. Uh, excuse me, I would like to know where we are. How are we in... Outer space? Let me explain what this place is. The Time Matrix. I suddenly got a massive headache. How is this place, like, possible? Anyway, we're not going to explain anything to our prisoner. To the rest of the group, now that we're back safely, we need to tend to Caitlyn and attempt to revive her from temporal illness first and foremost. Speaking of which, where are Caitlin, Ronnie, and Victini? Upstairs to your left. Upstairs? How do we... Do... Don't you see the stairwell? I was hoping you, would, uh, you wouldn't say that. Is now a bad time to tell people that I'm afraid of heights? Just don't look down. That's reassuring, said no one ever. Leo and Celine, are the both of you and Solgaleo and Lunala alright? Yeah, we're fine now. Solgaleo and Lunala were injured by the earth spikes. You need to tend to them. Very well, Sienna and Marshado can go with you. The three of you and your soulbound Pokemon can go to the right platform. Agent Roberts, while the others tend to their business, I'd like for you, Kara and Voltsy, to stay behind for a moment, please. I have some developments I wish to share with you. Very well, we shall stay behind. 
Now that the Soul Keepers are off tending to their own business, what news do you have to share with us, Agnes? Right off the bat, the platforms weren't here earlier. How did you manage to do this? From the central control panel here, I've learned how to craft and shape the dimension to my imagination. It took a little while, but I figured it out. Wait, what? You can make this place look anything you want, and yet you chose to keep it looking like this? Well, I didn't want to make this place seem ordinary. I had to make it look as magnificent a place as it should be. Actually, you know what? There are more pressing things to discuss. Carry on. <laughs> anyway, as I wanted to say, that actually isn't news I wanted to share with you. I believe I have found a way to return back to the 21st century. Incredible. I knew you were the right person to entrust to find a way back for us. Wait a minute. How certain are you that this is going to work, Agnes? The amount of people questioning my scientific ability of late is really starting to irritate me. Good grief. Is this even science anymore though? Because to me it seems like magic. My dear, magic is simply a human way of explaining a phenomenon that has not yet been scientifically supported. Everything can be documented, observed and explained. Now, first things first, you need to deal with reviving your friend Caitlin from her temporal illness. Okay, so that's to the left, right? Uh, yo. I guess we talk to you. Alright. Uh, you extortionists, I'll do it. Just promise me you won't hurt me. I will promise you exactly nothing, Republican swine. Now revive Caitlin or else I bite off your arm. Alright, alright, I'll do it. Miss Fawn and Miss Vukovich, you will note that this concoction is consistent with the one we developed back in my lab, correct? Yes, it is. Good, then you can trust that I am not trying to poison your friend. You better not, or else I'm going to throw you off this platform into the abyss myself. The whole lot of you are exceptionally angry and violent individuals, you know that? After your, uh, went on de deception, you're lucky I haven't maimed you yet. Now I'm administering the mixture to your friend. And now we wait. What do you do to her, Claude? Why isn't the potion doing anything? Patience, little girl. Don't trifle with us, Republican swine. I administered the potion. What more do you want? It's an experimental concoction. I was reasonably assured that it would work on your friend, and no time did I guarantee you that she would be revived. Then tell me why I shouldn't kill you where you stand right now. Wait, every look everyone, she's... Oh, oh my head. What happened? Where am I? Caitlin, you're alive, thank God. We have a lot to fill you in on, but for now, you're gonna need to take it easy. There, I've done what you requested, and now do I go free? Some hope you have, Claude. No way, you're leverage for us to use against the Republic. We'll keep you in a warp prison while, uh, where you can't escape. Faulty, go and inform Kara and the others about Caitlin's revival. Things are finally looking up for us, for a change. Yeah, for now. Things usually just don't... You know, go to plan. <laughs> right. How did you pull this off, Agnes? Pull what off? Creating some platforms in the time matrix? Yeah, it's just the beginning. There's a lot more to the time matrix. I've just begun to scratch the surface of what I've learned to do. Who do I talk to? Oh, okay. It's a very formidable trainer. If she was out of commission for the entire duration of our mission, that would have been a costly loss. For the sake of our mission, though, we need to ensure she does not experience any adverse side effects from the cure that Dr... Is it Leduc? Leduc? I don't know how you pr pronounce that guy's name, but you, Kara, and myself will return to 21st century by ourselves. Should be a relatively easy mission. The beast is safely stowed away in our headquarters in Lilypad Town. Okay, so how do we... Do we do this? Uh, no, that's back to Agnes' lab. So... How do we get back to the 21st century? Who do we speak to? Wait. We're already in mission? What do you mean? We're already in 3564. Our prime mission was to secure a base of operations first and foremost in 3564. The Time Matrix will act as that base. Now part two of our plan begins. To bring the beast back with us, so we can commence our attack on the Republic. Speak to Agnes to have our have her open the portal for us to return to the 21st century. Okie dokie. Okay, Caitlin is conscious and recovering. Now explain to me exactly how we plan on getting back to the 21st century. Well, in a nutshell, I was able to tap into the Beta Omicron time gate remotely and use its uh, time signature to open a portal right here in the 21st century. What I'm doing is merely spoofing its uh, space-time coordinates, so it seems like I'm using the same coordinates of Beta Omicron, but I'm not actually doing so. In this manner, I can control exactly uh, where you will show up if you go back to the 21st century. So you mean you can send us somewhere other than the Tomb of the Fallen One in the 21st century? Correct. Okay, but then how do we come back to 3564? Beta Omicron has been overrun by those feral mindlink zombies, and if we use a time gate from the Tomb of the Fallen One, we'll just get intercepted again. The Republic is monitoring everything or anyone coming through the time gate. That's not fully accurate. The Republic has been monitoring the exact uh, time gate coordinates of Beta Omicron only. They do not have a line of sight uh, into anything or anyone coming to 3564 elsewhere. In so far as what they know, the only way for someone to travel to this timeline is through the Beta Omicron time gate. 
However, the portal that I create for you will drop you off in Lilypad Town, then you can take the portal back here into the Time Matrix. And the Republic will remain none the wiser. Will taking your portal be at risk of being intercepted like the first time we traveled? No, because the Republic is only focused on intercepting time travel using the Time Gate. They will have no idea that anyone else is coming to 3564 through the, any other way. This spoof Time Gate portal is how I control where exactly you will show up and make sure your time travel doesn't similarly get intercepted. Thanks, that is, uh, that is clear as mud. Oh, one more thing before I forget. I was able to upgrade that Pokegear app that Artie broke when he was installing the mini Chandelure app for you. Here, take this. I'm confident that app will work across timelines too. Ooh, mini Star Raptor. Sweet. Now, without further ado, I shall open the portal now. Nice. The portal is now open. Liberty, independence, strength, autonomy. Godspeed, comrades. Alright, well, I think it's probably a great place to end this part off. Next episode, we go back to the 21st century, go and get the Fallen One, and bring it back to the future, which I guess is our present, but yeah. <laughs> I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace.